Okay, this is Sue's 11 Tarot, and, okay, so I asked, okay, what would Leo like to know, okay, for whoever I'm reading for? Okay, so the answer, there were two. One was the twin, so one was like actual twin that was uh, at a distance, and then um, the other one was uh, a twin flame, okay. So I don't know much about all that, but um, let's just see what spirit reveals, okay? All right, so let's just, um, I don't know, how do I approach this? Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna do use the creative deck here, okay? I'll pick three from there, and then I'm going to use the dragon cards. Hmm. Okay, so if you're an actual twin, then you you were missing the times that you spent together and were close together and um you would like to also reconnect but because of oh, each has a separate uh, families and whatnot. Um, it hasn't been easy to come together. Okay. And, uh, okay. And so for the twin flame, okay. So I see you, Leo, as this, um, this star. Okay. And, uh, and then here is like, it looks like a star energy too. This horse has stars all over. Okay. So this looks like the water bearer. Okay, there's like water being poured out, okay? So, and see how her foot looks like there's one foot on earth and one foot, <laughs> it's like the fabric of the universe there, okay? So she has uh, access to both worlds. Oh, and also the twin too, if it's a twin reading, okay? That, the actual twin relative, okay? So, oh, okay, so this could be also for siblings too. You could look at it that way. I'll try to read both. Okay, see where this reading's going. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, so, um, okay, and I'm getting also spend time around more green things, okay? Um, you know, if not, if you don't have a place outdoors, you can bring that in. Okay, and I'm also seeing this part as a quilt, Okay, so you want to feel those cozy comfort places again, whether you're the Gemini t actual twin or um, the twin flame energy. Okay, now, or soulmate. Okay, now, I'm using twin flame because that's how it came up. Okay, so that might be the way a person recognizes it, so I'll just go ahead and use that. Okay, all right, so let's get down to the stuff. The star. See, that's the that's the uniting energy there, the connecting link. Whether it's the twin, the actual Gemini twin, or the um, the t twin flame. Okay, that's the connecting energy. Is the star energy? Okay, You've got a star and star. Okay. All right. Let's see what else comes out. Seven of Cups. Okay, today I'm receiving the Seven of Cups as not, not all, 
I'm looking at it as you feel like you need to uh, do this and this and this and this and this and this and this to get to this person. Okay, that's what I'm picking up today with this. Okay, um, you may have lots of options, but um, that's not how I'm seeing it for the twin flame. Okay. Now, if you're the Gemini twin, it's, um, okay, so all these things came up, okay, to where you couldn't go visit, okay, all right, so, okay, so I'm seeing the sun and moon is almost aligned here, so aligning those two can probably pull it in. Okay, I see Taurus energy here. Okay. Mercury. Okay, so what is that? Oh, that's Gemini and, um, oh, okay, Gemini and Virgo. So using Virgo as the energy within yourself to build up that strong foundation using the Gemini uh, to tapping into that uh, infinite intelligence okay and bringing it into your experience and communicating because Gemini is very good at talk speaking and um, communicating okay so uh, those are some things okay oh very nice I like they. I just got these wizard cards. I, I didn't have any even looked at them, so <laughs> I like it. Okay. Okay. So what is this? Oh, see, and you're writing together. Okay. So for the Gemini twin, there are going to be all. Okay, it's already planned out. Time. Uh, times together is already planned out for you okay it says six of swords so that i'm seeing this as traveling to see each other okay whether it's for the tim, twin flame or the twin okay uh there will be travels in the future so okay so what what do you need to do hold on okay in each moment take life as it comes know that you can um Bring in the sun into any experience, okay? And from moment to moment, move into those uh, cozy, um, cozy, good feeling places. Okay, see the quilt? Comforting thoughts, okay? Can move you through the energy and, and, and make it happen sooner, okay? Aligning that... Uh, that sun and moon. Seeing a world perspective, like with an open mind. Okay, looking at the bigger picture, okay. Okay, so that's nice, it's in your future, and it could be near future, okay. And then we have, what is this? Three of Wands, okay, a travel card, okay, Three of Wands, okay. Okay, so communication, phone calls. Um, oh, and it looks like he's got a, a, a wand, a magic wand with, uh, oh, it looks like a Capricorn. Okay, so watch out for, I would, if you're gonna, lean into Capricorn energy, I would try to stay in the positive aspects of Capricorn energy. So what does that mean? That means uh, looking out for the, the obsessive uh, or attachment. You know, you want to stay independent, free, and uh, flowing. And that's going to bring in your travel, okay? Three of Wands. And see, it looks like he's like not keeping hope. Okay, so keep that hope. Keep communicating, speak words that are of things you want, and then use that, use that magic wand, okay? I'm seeing these as shoe boxes for some reason here. 
Okay, so might be someone who likes lots of shoes. Okay, so now the shoe boxes are going in all directions and swinging is what I'm seeing. Okay, so. Um, okay, so if you have so many options of things you have to do, just focus on one and then do it that way. Okay. Yeah, then you got the Page of Swords. Okay, so I see that as uh, communicating. And well, we already said that in this card over here. Three of Wands. Okay. All right. Why is this tw twin not communicating? This one, uh, was it Twin Flame or Twin? Let's see. Let's use this deck here. Feeling powerless and feeling like it's too far. Okay, so Spirit said it's right around the corner here. So let's stay positive and, um, okay, and do things to, uh, little things in your daily life to uh, pull in that personal power. You know, if you tackle the simple things in your daily life, then that can help you. Um, also, it doesn't have to be big things. Just taking those little steps can make you feel good. Okay. Like, for example. Okay. Um, okay, spend one day just looking at, okay, going on the internet and figuring out, okay, plane tickets, you know, and figuring out what the best time is and uh, things like that. Just do one thing at a time. You don't have to do it all at once. Okay. And it is right around the corner. You just have to um, pick your head up. Because see, this, his head's down. Okay. Or if you find yourself, if you're feeling good and you find yourself getting in those moments, remind yourself. And I'm seeing now like music would be a good way to lift. The music without words. To lift yourself out of that. Okay. Okay. And. Ooh. Okay. So. All right. So. Um, this is interesting. Okay. So. If you are the twin. Then. Uh, read books about. Um, family members uniting back together again. If you are concerned about your twin flame. Um, read romance novels that um, that have a happy ending or watch a romance uh, flick with a happy ending <laughs> go you can I was like how do you do that <laughs> you don't want to read the spoilers <laughs> yeah but you can go online and find out right okay <laughs> And then if you happen to find one that is didn't have a happy ending, then you got to watch another movie that has a happy ending. <laughs> it's just the suggestion. <laughs> or have you been watching movies that are sad? Okay, so let's watch for now until you uh, manifest this. Let's try to stay on uh, the, the positive things. Okay. All right, let's see. Where are you going with that energy? Woo! Flying out. The High Priestess. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. See, I did a um, cancer reading, and they had the columns, and this one has the columns, too. I see that as the Two of Wands, but also building that strong foundation in, uh, you know, uh, whether it's a family relationship or a lover. Okay. Hmm. So, okay. Leo, it's a water sign, I think. Or she has lots of water placements. Or she moves in her emotions a lot. Okay, what else? Ooh. 
Okay, Seven of Swords. That's where you're feeling. That's, okay, so. Oh, look. They said, look at the, the, the book there. Okay, so, yeah. Try to uh, read things and watch things that are, uh, you know, more positive, okay? And that will open a, a new door, okay? And pay attention to what you are focusing on during the day, okay? So if you're a tarot reader, then, because that's looking like the hermit to me, so if you're a tarot reader, um, maybe give yourself a break from looking at those, um, you know, um, stories that have a title that you know don't have a happy ending. Okay, so uh, that's one message for one person. Okay. Okay, so three of cups he is here. See, so there is going to be celebration with the two twins that are uh, the, okay, family. Okay, so um, between family members. Okay. Let me get a clarifier for the um, for the twin flame one. Hold on. Okay, the hermit came out with the queen of pentacles reverse. That's what I thought. Okay, so don't think too much about it because, see, you also got the empress. This could be you. So thinking too much in the head and move flow with your heart. And just, you know, let's say you got the impulse to call. Call right then. Don't think about it. Just call. Okay, and see that? Okay, I want to show you this. Okay, see how... The flowers flow from hermit to here. Okay, this could be you. Okay. Feeling in your power. Okay. Pulling in that money you want. Pulling in, you know, uh, your lover. Okay. That was for the twin flame. Okay, so I, I pulled up hermit earlier and <clears throat> it came out again. Okay, so that would be explain the three of cups. Okay, so so maybe perhaps you think there's another person and just spending so much energy in that, okay, and driving yourself crazy um, can also manifest that, okay, if you stay there. Because what manifests is where we're, you know, putting our focus. Okay, so redirect. Okay. All right. Be more flexible with time schedules when it comes to union, okay, or coming together. Be more flexible. I just picked up. Okay, if you have excess energy and you have excess time on your hands, Find something creative to channel that energy into, and things will flow a lot better for you. Okay, so like if you like to go boating, okay, um, go do that, okay? Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave that with you because I see a body of water, and it, it so, um, you know, uh, Make sure you're going within and asking for the things that you desire. And, um, and you can always uh, meditate. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Leo.